All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Obi, and I'd like to welcome you all to Under the Waves. Now, Under the Waves is a narrative-driven adventure game. We follow a professional diver named Stan as he is struggling with a life-changing loss, while at the same time trying to embrace a new future. Stan starts to experience strange events under the waves that will force him to make a difficult choice to either stay in the dark depths or return to the surface and start a new life. So sit back, relax, and let's take a trip under the waves. I hope everybody's doing good. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All your guys' love and support, you know, means the world to me. So with that said, here we go. New game. Choose a save file for a new game. Choose a sticker for your save file. Oh, we're going to do this one right here. Boom. There are three types of people. The living, the dead, and those who are at sea. Wow. Parallel Studio. Base to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it. You'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. Wow. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as oh, falling wow. off a log. Find moon, enter the bunker. This looks really good so far. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. The ocean is so scary, in my opinion. Look at the 
crabs. Wow, this is such a trip. Looks like a lift. Stanley Moray, personal information continue. Press this to open. A uh, message from Unit Trench HR to Timothy Graham. Your recent request has been approved, although I'm still not sure where this has come from. This guy, Stan Moray, is now under your supervision as an offshore operator. Okay, logbook. Um, congratulations, employee. As an offshore maintenance operative, you are an essential part of the Unit Trench family. Your well being is our priority. Through extensive research, we found keeping a record of life help, helps maintain a steady emotional baseline, meaning you feel better and live better and work better. Please find an attachment. Please find attached a uni notepad for your daily logs. Remember, the more personal the entry, the stronger your mental fortitude. Welcome aboard. Oh wow, we even have a map here? What is this? Go find moon, enter the bunker, okay. All right. Um, what is this? A chunk of metal. Okay. I don't know if I wanna go up yet, hold on. Let me look around. Solid and useful. What do we do with the metal? Is there something we do with the metal? Items and resources. Metal pieces found on the ocean floor near wreckages. Crafting, upgrades, collectibles, stickers, music tapes, decorations, photo, okay. Let's continue on. You must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything. All right. darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't take engineer on my application form. Lucky for you. Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. Where's all this coming from?
Whoa. Okay. How big is this place? Big? It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh... How much air does this suit have again? Enough. Look, if you get stuck, we'll send a drone after you. They've picked up worse. Plastic pollution. Plastics are one of the deadliest signs of our passage. Whether it's turtles getting stuck in a can holder rings or seals choking to death on a bottle top, every piece of the stuff is a potential killer. It's thought that somehow, somewhere between 75 to 200 million tons of plastic is out there in the oceans. Emma said that it's almost 25,000 billion microplastic particles. I didn't even know numbers like that big existed. Can't even imagine the damage that much plastic is doing to the seas. Dude, we have to fucking swim. Cool. Press triangle to swim. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. Whoa. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentelnecks put it through more stress than you ever will. Boost. Press triangle to land. Wow. a really like eerie vibe but it's really cool maybe it's just eerie because we're like underwater um our o2 is good okay low. um another door hang on there a moment time for what the boys in hr call a learning opportunity if you're sure press trying to swim up and down okay i get that i'm a little worried about our o2 here <laughs> i mean Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. Hold. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. Oh, there we go. In nice. suit. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, it might come in handy. Okay. Got five oxygen sticks. What is this? Plastic waste garbage patch. Let's, let's see what this is. A congregation of plastic waste floating on the surface. The ones around here are rel relatively small, but Emma told me told me one in the North Atlantic that stretches for hundreds of kilometers. Hundreds. Hard to fathom. Matter of fact, she joined a huge protest last year against just this kind of pollution, alongside NGOs like Surfridge or Surfrider. Big conference of oil techs, Uni, Uni Trench was there, of course they were. They ended up sending in their private security to clear out the protesters. Okay. So I'm assuming we have to do this. Nope. Not on these flippers. All right. Oxygen sticks, I think we're good. Alright, let's go to the door. Job's a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait. Are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan. 
It's lovely. Clouds and little birds. Soothing. <laughs> Very funny. What in the world? Oh, dude, look at the jellyfish. And there she is, the moon. Pride of the Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. But good enough for the likes of you. Really huh. helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. Okay. Uh, employment agreement, Stanley Murray. 38, offshore maintenance operative, class 3. Previous role, harbor diver, class 2. Short haven maintenance facility. By citing the attached documentation, the above name agrees to perform any and all tasks as mandated by the assigned Unitrench supervisor or by any member of the Unitrench Offshore Advisory Board. The above named waives any and all rights to enter into legal proceedings against the company and on the basis of workload, working hours, pre-existing medical conditions, medical conditions encountered during the period of employment, injury, death, Industrial negligence or termination. The company reserves the right to alter the rate and method of remuneration, remuneration within a notice period of one hour. Should the above name fail to adhere to these conditions, the company reserves the right to terminate employment of all the above named without notice and to engage in any and all relevant legal actions as deemed pursuant to the circumstances of the above named failure to comply. Any discussion with other personnel or external parties related or adjacent to the forming of a labor union or collective bargaining unit will also lead to termination without notice. All right. All right, so there's clamps that we need to undo here. First lock release. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no, this is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. But all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. This is awesome. Doors working as intended, I see. Oh, the wonders wow. of automation. Okay. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. Oh, L1 to It's three. all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave, and we'll see about getting you to your new home. Change view. Oh, what? This is crazy. This is awesome, dude. Oh, wow. I kind of like this view so I can see everything. Oh, there dude. she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. 
All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. What is that? I see it. What do I do with that? Heading there now. Can I pick this uh, trash up? Okay, so I can't get out. So not that I'm aware of. something. That must be the life module. Wow. Looks like a lighthouse. On the bottom of the ocean floor. Cla crafting blueprints. Can we get out and get this stuff? Do I have to land, maybe? I should get back to the task at hand. All right, I guess not. Maybe it'll like uh, let us do that when we continue on in the game. Quite the view. See the docking bay there. Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there. It's assigned to the area, our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. This is gonna be a bitch. Oh my god. There we go. Docking complete. Betting inside. Roger that. Enter the life mode. This is so cool, man. I'm digging it. I'm really liking it. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Wow. Okay. This is not as bad as I expected. It's actually okay. Cozy. All right. Radio call. Here we go. Uh, to stand up. It does um. Is this right? Wow. Hey Tim. Finally. Okay. Now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? We'll see. Turn on Mercury. New user identified. Oh, Stanley oh. Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merc's a glorified calculator, but it'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. 
I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Check the storage room. Alright. Do I have a map? Let's see. Uh... Check it out. All right. Seems simple enough. Wow. Seems kind of redundant, given, you know, bottom of the ocean and all. <laughs> right. Rather exposed. Good job I'm alone. <laughs> Considering what I went through. Oh wow, we can make a face, that's so cool. Ah. Alright. Ah. Yeah. I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> huh. Who is this for? I'm the only one down here and they already bagged me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Better check out the rest of the place first. Alright. Anything over here? Hmm. Some classics here. Not my normal kind of read, but. Hey, I'm open to change. Change view. <laughs> wow. All right, let's stand up and get it going. Here we go. Uh, what is this thing right here? Guess I'm responsible for you guys now. Okay. All right, we gotta check out the storage room. This looks like the storage room. All right. Ah, hey. Camera. Open the mirror. Last guy must have left it behind. Photograph one. Take a picture of a leatherback turtle. Take a picture of an octopus. Take a picture of a blue shark. Oh, my lord. Uh, take a picture of an orca. Take a picture of a humpback whale. Take a picture of a blue whale. Oops. Take a picture of a seal, take a picture of a whale shark, take a picture of a basking shark. Oops, there was another thing. What is this over here? Lost objects. Instant camera. It's waterproof. This was just here in the middle. Or in the module, sorry. It must have been left by the previous occupant as a definitely as it's definitely made for underwater photography. For photography. Still in working order, me and Emma, we used to love taking photos. So did Pearl. Show picture. Okay. So this game is supposedly based in like the 1970s era. So the, you know, the technology isn't, wasn't that great back then, but it looks pretty good for huh. the crafting table. I had a whole training module on this thing. Raw materials go in. Useful stuff comes out. Very fancy. Okay. <laughs> Deactivated. All right. Uh, is this thing on? Do we have to do something uh, with it? Okay. Is this thing on? So we're gonna go back to here. I don't know why we're. Oops. Check the storage room. I did. Huh? I think I'm doing all that. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these, well, should hang them up at some point. Without 
drilling any holes. <laughs> Mission complete, yeah, yeah. All right. What am I supposed to do now? Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. I should probably check in. What is in here? With Emma. Oh wow, we got a little kitchen and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this will do nicely. This is awesome. Okay. Ooh, what's in the fridge? Ah, damn things frozen shut. That could be an issue. What? What type of bullshit is that? Alright, so I'm assuming we go sleep. Actually, we gotta go check in, actually. Okay. than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I, uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't... Uh, what we said before I left, you, you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So yeah, this is space. Uh, just, uh, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the, the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's you know Trent, so who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna let you go, call me. You should, you should get to bed. Log entry, open up the menu. Log entry one, Stan Murray. They told me I needed to keep a log, personal thoughts on any issues, stuff like that. Apparently it helps maintain a steady emotional baseline. I'll take their word for it. This is my second stint as a diver and my first living on the bottom. The life module is very nice. There's a television. Honestly, I don't know what to write here. I feel good, I suppose. The isolation is nice. Needed. End of entry. End the day. Big day tomorrow? Best get some shut eye. This isn't right. This isn't. Why is this here? 
Where did this come from? Huh. Oh, wow, look at that big old whale. What in the world? This is really cool. No. Mm -mm. Not here. Day two. Was she in a car accident or something? Is he like... What was... What was that? I am going to turn off the music because I just do not want to get dinged. Um, let's turn the music all the way off here. First day down here and bad dreams already. Damn YouTube. <sighs> What is our objective here? Main missions. Oxygen stick. We know all that. Can we craft any of this? It's giving me like a... Alright, maybe we just have to keep going here. wrong with you why can't you just let it go wow you know there was an icon for me to use the computer so maybe there was a phone call back maybe let's try it wonder if this thing has any games oh, there we go can we play a game within a game Come on, we got. What are we doing here? All right, we're out of here. It's just to play games. All right, we're out. All right, still we can make faces. Don't want to do that. What is this? This will come in handy. Should anything untoward happen? A little med kit, nice. Good morning, Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. <sighs> is there any coffee on this wreck? Checking. Yes, 10 kilograms of Happy Morning Instant Coffee remaining. Great. Yeah, let's make some coffee, baby. Alright, let's see what you can do. Just give me a little icon to look out the window here. Emma would love this. That's pretty cool. Oh, what is this whole thing? Pretty detailed. Area seems well mapped. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Sounds like Tim's calling. Morning, Tim. There he is. How was the first night? It was, uh... It was good. Yeah. If the whole giant oil conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Unitrench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now, ready to stop the day? Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. See you out there. All right, let's see what we got going on. All right. These seem easy right. enough. Two missions available. Algae cleanup and a small leak. Drones report small leak near the refinery repairs. Let's start with just this one. Okay. Harvest green algae. All right, let's drink one more cup of coffee and let's be on our way. That's so cool, I love it. All right, let's see what the uh, what awaits us. Aye, you never get used to the plunge. Mike seems to be working. Was it not? Salt water's the toughest test bed in nature. Everything breaks down here. Just a question of time. Well, there's the view at least. Said you wanted to get away. Nowhere more away than this. It's so serene. I could lose myself in that blue. Wonderful. Just keep your head on. Could get lost. Arriving at the gardens. Good. An invasive strain of algae's taken root. You need to weed them out. Always fancied myself a horticulturist. Time to flex those green fingers, then. <laughs> Surprisingly spongy. Ugh, horrible stuff. True, but it does produce a huge amount of O2. Never know, might come in handy. Fresh green algae, useful. What's with this stuff? I thought it preferred warmer waters. Well, I uh, wouldn't know anything about that. Hmm. Oh shit, there's a seal. Can we uh, take a picture? <laughs> oh wow. Hey there. Let me guess. Joe? Yeah. Hey. Hey there, you. He's quite the celebrity around these parts. Reckon he lost the rest of his pod a while back, poor bugger. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Ah, this Joe. Definitely has its perks. Joe is a veteran of these parts. Story goes, he has lost he lost the rest of his pod and quickly took to the region's divers. He certainly seems interested in my comings and goings. He was GPS tagged not long after. Tim mentioned a group of Unitrench researchers jumped at the chance to track a seal like him. It's a little odd to have a wild animal follow you around like a puppy, but I can already see him growing on me. Not that I should be getting attached. Still, I'm glad to have him around. Alright, we 
need one more algae here. All right, done. Mission complete. Mission accomplished. Hey, buddy. Roger that. A job hey, well done. Now you want to. Tim? Oh, shit. All, all right. This bodes well. Uh, that should do it. Nothing to fret about. Just won't drop in signal. Roger. Pending missions. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We got some other missions. Let's go do a small leak. I know this is none of my beeswax, but uh, did you get a hold of Emma? No. Gave it a go, but she was. Out. Ah. Yeah. This is really cool. Everything. I'm digging it. All right there. She, uh, she wasn't happy with me coming down here. As environmentally minded as ever. Ah. I. Well, yes, I. I understand completely. I'm just uh, glad she's still there for you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Look at all these fish. Oh, wow, dude. There's sharks. Can they attack me? Oh my god, dude. Definitely a leak here, Tim. Got something pouring out of a pipe. Yep, confirmed on our end. We're not from the refinery. Horrible stuff. Okay. Not to worry. Follow the pipe there until you reach the flow control. That should stop it. Roger. The company's been pushing the system pretty hard of late. Never been more demand. Modern manufacturing, consumer demand, wars, that sort of thing. It means there might be more leaks. Small ones, you know. Popping up every now and again. Keep an eye out. Okay, so it says follow the pipe. Alright, so... Heads into a cave. That's it. Valve should be inside. Keeping the ocean clean. This is like a sewer. Oops. Water's filthy. Uh, more coal. More coal. I wonder what that's gonna do, like what I can craft with that. Chunk of coal. If anything. There we go. It didn't give me the prompt to turn it. Hold on. Maybe it only gives you like the prompt once and I guess they figured that you should know that how to do that. Hopefully that does it. Mission complete. Uh, leaks. Well, it's not repaired, but it stopped leaking. Excellent. The local fishies will, I'm sure, be grateful. Head on back to the life module for now. All right. Don't want you overdoing it on. Oh, oh shit. 
Ten. Ten of you. <sighs> Connection lost. Okay. I think we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Happens from time to time. Jeez, I don't like that at all. Now, tools. There's a crafting table in the storage room that's just been activated. Yeah. Noticed it earlier. Nice bit of kit. Usually we'd have the starter blueprints ready to go, but we're running a bit behind. Head over and grab them, would you? Reef the light mode. Okay. So do I have to highlight that? Oh. Okay, grab the two. Dude, I feel like so vulnerable. Like I'm just, just waiting for something to come up and like grab my legs or some shit. Find find the crafting blueprints. Hey, how can we take pictures? Uh, oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'll have to read up on that and come do that shit later. Jesus. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We will uh, find the, the blueprints in the next episode. I'm really digging this game. It's pretty cool. Like, I don't know. I know we're just getting into it, but I like it so far. It's pretty cool. I feel like the story is going to be good. I think it's like uh, it's going to have some twists and turns and something's going on. Man, the sounds are so crazy. Anyways, if you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out. All you guys' love and support means the world to me. So... We'll see you guys on the next episode of Under the Waves. Bye for now. Take care.